Hi everyone, it's Nibe, and I'm back playing yet another spooky game called Doppelganger. This was developed by Bevice, and I found it on Ichio accidentally. I have seen their previous game called Too Late to Play, and I was really interested in this one as well, so let's start playing. Task, walk home. Alright, where is home? Is home this way? Wow, this is very smooth. Oh no, so it's this way. Alright, let's get off the road. Don't get hit by the car. The game is made in Godot, or Godot, however you want to pronounce it. And it's quite alright, smooth. Oh, there was a car. The sensitivity is a bit too low for me, personally. Developer can note that and improve the sensitivity options. Wait, I need to buy some food. I don't have much food left in the fridge. Alright. Oh, I know this door. Yeah, I, I've been in this before. In uh, the Teka Teka game. Is that Maxwell? Why do you come home so late? Just like usual. Alright. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, sir? Task, buy some food. What do you mean, buy some food? Oh, do I? Oh, no. Do I have to... So I have to guess what I have to buy? Anything in here? Uh, milk? Well, this is a great recipe for diarrhea. Soda, milk, eggs, and cookies. I'm not kidding, by the way. Soda and milk? You combine them together? You're gonna have a good time with your toilet, buddy. Did you remember to bring it to me? Bring what? What? You promised me yesterday. Well, I often forget these days. I even forgot to bring the toilet key. Whatever, I asked you for a Gordon's Gin and you said you'd give it to me for free. Oh, I remember, a Gordon's Gin. Really sorry for forgetting. No problem. Your total is $17. Alright, here you are. Here's your change. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> By the way, there is a weird smell from the toilet. Have you checked it yet? Weird smell, uh, maybe the toilet overflowed. I didn't have the key with me, so I couldn't do anything. But you don't have to worry too much. The next day, all that smell will be gone. All right, good luck with that smell. I gotta go, bye. Bye. The guy looks suspicious to me. I don't know why, but I have instincts, you know? I think he's very sus. Have to juggle flashlight. You mean the phone light? Look on the right, look on the left, and cross. Because that's how we do it in the real world. You're not going to be a jackass and jaywalk all over this place, okay? Um, oh. So, not this way? I'm jaywalking. Wait, is it this way? Behind the store? Huh, never seen that. <laughs> do you want to play a prank on Michael? I'm just gonna turn the switch off, and he's gonna be like, What happened? How many of you wanna bet that Michael is gonna die? And we're gonna find him dead right there. And some weird, you know, slasher type of monster or maybe killer will show up. Oh, look, that's my house. Um, wait, is there a, there's something there I can see, like near the tree? Someone is hiding. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Anyways, how are you guys? How is your day? Place food in the fridge. Okay. Oh, we don't need this anymore. Um, did you just place cereal in the fridge? I mean, who does that? Take out the trash. All right. Uh, this is also a familiar house. So we have to take the trash outside. Oh, the trash near the uh, store. All right. Reheat pizza. Uh, reheat pizza. So I guess pizza is here. Um. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, sorry. Wait, what? No, what? Oh, wow. It didn't close all the way. All right, maybe that was my fault. Oh, come on. Everything... Wa watch TV while eat pizza. Everything opens at the same time. Alright. 
And what are we watching? Oh, I know this TV show. Yeah, I know. Also, can you chew with your mouth closed? Get clothes and go take a shower. Get clothes. What? No, you should take clothes off and take a shower. Did you shower with your clothes on? Come on now. Uh, what? What was that? A ghost? Haunting my bathroom? Take it, take it, go to bed. That's exactly how I go to bed. I blink three times and then sleep. I'm messing around with this game. Is that a scream? Was it a scream? I didn't hear it. Go to the shop to check. Obviously, the shop's where it came from. I have to go there and check. How would you know? How would you know that? Unless you want to get in trouble. Or maybe you care about Michael. I don't care about Michael. Um. Uh, what? The fuck? Stop him. That is not me. Careful. Stop him. Uh, hold on. What the fuck is going on? Anything in here suspicious? No? Alright, so there is nothing in the back, but I could have sworn I saw something. I mean, there is no way there, apparently. And I don't want to go back in my house because there is some writing on the wall and it's creepy. I guess we're gonna find out that Michael is dead or something consumed Michael. This is very scary. I like the overall style of the game. But I mean look look at look at the line of the tree. There's I could swear there is something in there. Well, that's alright. Okay, so maybe there is something in the back. Can we go from the back? Oh well I guess it's time to enter the place and look around. Maybe Michael's in the bathroom. Is it hiding? It's locked. There's a weird smell coming. Yeah, I know that. Okay. What? Holy moly. What the fuck is going on here? I can't believe what I'm seeing. God, please tell me this is just a damn dream. The horror of it. The sheer brutality of it all. I can't make sense of it. These bodies. These poor souls. Who are they? And what happened to them? No, I don't even want to know. I just want to leave this place. Behind you. Is it gonna be... It's gonna be Michael? Oh, don't. Please don't. Oh, well. Yeah. That was great. Thanks for playing. The game was made in 17 days. 17 days? What? Alright. What are my thoughts about Doppelganger? I really enjoyed this game. The atmosphere felt... Fresh. I know that the convenience store trope is very popular right now, and I understand that the assets used in the game were a bit similar to the ones I've seen already, but the story was very ambiguous. I understood that towards the end, the Michael was not the actual Michael, and maybe there was an entity, or a ghost, or actually someone else. Maybe Michael's friend, brother, or, you know, I don't know. But that ambiguity actually was uh, felt in the game and uh, it was quite refreshing to see. As for the gameplay, quite simple, nothing too complicated, very user-friendly. I really enjoyed the performance of the game because I play a lot of Godot games and um, some of them don't quite work well with my PC. Mostly Unreal Engine games, they just crash instantly. Unity games, they're alright, but with Godot, sometimes you have that frame rate drops and things like that. This was very well made. And especially for the 17 day thing, like, you really have to work hard to make a game like this in 17 days. As for the rest of you, thanks everyone else for watching, for supporting me, and please check out the game, link is in the description. Maybe there is another ending, I'm not sure. If there is, you can play it. That's it. Thanks everyone for watching, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.